Clonex. Okay, so Clonex, everyone knows Nike's entry into the metaverse, collection of 19,300 NFTs. It's actually 20,000, but 700 people are still have their vials and haven't yet um, uh, launched the NFT, for want of a better word. Now, if you bought into Clonex and you bought one of these, you currently would be sitting on the first airdrop, which was this guy here. Let me just reload it. I need to close there. Okay. So the first drop you got was your room, your pod. Um, and then anyone who held a pod, regardless of whether you still had your clone X or not, I think OpenSea is giving us trouble, got a loot pod, a second pod drop to them. So what they've said, and uh, Nabula, this is specifically going to answer your question. We are going to get to the boxes. They've said that you can enter their ecosystem at any stage and benefit from that point going forward. So no, you're not going to retrospectively get, this was the first part over here, where you can put your own NFTs, um, and uh, this was their first one. You can see the floor price is 1.7 Ethereum. This was their second one, which is actually an extension, but is also a standalone. And I did a whole video where I connected my two together, which you can see. They're currently, in my opinion, undervalued at 0.7. Um, and then they dropped everyone, these guys here, this box. Right? And everyone held this box for a very long time. Um, and you had to complete quests, of which I did none of them, but as long as the community were doing them. And they finally showed us what's in this box. And what we got was a pair, it was another box, okay, which is so cool. A pair of Nike Dunk Genesis sneakers, okay. So these, these ones here without bids have got the vial in them. So you also got a vial, and the vial has different uh, degrees of rarity. This is all the, on the floor here, the most common. You insert this vial into your shoe on their website, and it makes your shoe look like that. So your one shoe can have many different designs depending on the vial that you insert into it. So if we have a look over here, all of these floor ones over here, I'm sure we'll get to the next rarest. Okay, let's just go sort here. So there, you get to the next rarest one. The floor there is 0 0.96. So you've got 4,791 humans. That's these purpley blue ones. Then robots, 2,874. Demons, 832. Angels, 826. And reptiles, 116. Undead, so far, 66. Because remember, this is this is going to change, but this is a good breakdown of the percentages, more or less. 51 of the ones that have currently been did are Murakami, and then 14 are aliens. Now, guys, aliens are sitting at over 150 Ethereum, okay? And selling, okay? Because <laughs> of their rarity. So I just want to take you back here so you can see here, there's still a lot of people who haven't opened their box, me included. So about 50% of the people have opened their box, 50% have not. Why? Because you saw that the vials, the vials for Clonex are trading at about 12 ETH more, or almost double, than the Clonexes. So if we just say Clonex vial, just to show you my point. So the floor is 19, whereas the floor here on the vial is 28.69, because people like betting on that they might get a rare in that, right? Okay, so currently the box, in, in different market conditions, I think this would be more close to 10. I think it will get beyond that as more people claim. And then because everyone knows that it's going to be a long time before this box gets revealed, this box is currently sitting at a huge discount. Um, so we know that Nike is taking the same approach to as Board Ape. So you minted a board Ape, you got a, a dog for free, board Ape Kennel Club. You then were able to mint a mutant for free. You then got the ApeCoin airdrop, and now you were able to mint land for free. If you owned your mutant, you could mint one land. If you owned your mutant and your 
Bordet Pukit Mint two lands, right? So, so the, Nike have specifically said that they are following the same approach, and it's clear because they've been out a lot less. I mean, uh, Bordet Pukit Club is a year old. Clone X is half of that, so they've been out a lot less long. That's horrible English. Um, less longer than uh, than uh, Bordet, but they've already dropped you uh, uh, two ETH airdrop, one point seven five. Uh, 0.7 airdrop, this has gone as high as 1.2 ETH. A box that's worth 7.5 Ethereum if you keep it closed, or at the very least worth 3.5 Ethereum currently, plus the shoes, which was in the box for everyone, the blank shoes, 1.6. So that's 5 Ethereum, plus let's just say the rare, the, the least rare, so call it 0.7. So 6.5, 7 Ethereum. So we are seeing that this brand is following the Board API Club way of giving back they're not doing it as a as a you know selfish selfless thing they've turned over in secondary sales they they've made over 100 million dollars from the nft um <coughs> excuse me endeavors so i do think and i'm seriously considering picking another one of these guys up um you can see here every collection drop except for board ape dropped before the the board ape land sale it went as low as 3.2 ethereum um and now we're seeing everyone thought the market would recover now people are today's not finished but people are realizing that the market may be in a bear or start to get in a bear but when it came out it was over five eth so i do think you know if you're able let's just say you're sitting with 15 eth that you want to invest three and a half ethereum to put it there and park it there this will be worth six seven eth quite easily and we see that from this box being worth that right so my question to myself is do i open this box or not right so i could in effect by you, you got to assume that you got well i have to i always assume and maybe i need to be a bit more of a gambler in this in this case but i always assume that i'm going to get the common one i've got a 50 percent chance of getting the common one so i'm sitting with 0.7 2.3, 5, 6 ETH. So effectively, I could buy one of each of these elements and then sell my box and make one and a half Ethereum, assuming that I get a common. If, I, if it's not a common, then I should open it and maybe get a 150 ETH NFT. So I'm not sure what to do, but for now, I haven't opened it. I am tempted to actually open it on air but I don't think I'm going to do it today. I want to see where this price goes in normal conditions first. Um, if this is 15 ETH, then, and these are only 7, 8 ETH together, this box, this, and that, then it's different. Then it's a 7 or 8 ETH benefit opposed to a 1.5 ETH benefit. So the risk now at 1.5 ETH different, I would rather open it and take that risk. But if that risk was, if the difference in this price was much more than the base elements, I would rather um, not take the risk. So not going to do it today, but we will do it at some stage. So if I was looking to enter this ecosystem, this is my best, at this point, this is my best point into the ecosystem. Because I can get in here, but it's 7.5 Ethereum. Um, so I would rather, if, if I did want to spend 7.5, I'd rather buy this, a base vial and a base shoe, right? All the shoes are base shoes until you insert a vial. So I'd get a shoe, I'd get the base vial, I'd get one of these, I'd be in for about six ETH, and I would be up to where everyone who only held this box is up to. And then because this is a box, we do know there's something special inside the box and that will let you be in the ecosystem from this point forward. And again, I do think that this entry is a very, very decent entry price for this. I mean, this is Nike. They, their reputation stands on this. They have shown that they are committed to building this brand. Um, and yeah, I'm very bullish on this, not financial advice. So I see some things here. Nabula, let's start with you. You were first. Uh, Nabula, you probably do not. I'm just thinking. You don't get... You don't get this because this was an airdrop. It wasn't minted. It was an airdrop. 
You don't get this because all of it was an airdrop. I don't think you'll get it. The interesting question, the very interesting question, is if you buy a Clone X vial now, will you, once you open it, get airdropped all the elements? And I don't know the answer to that. But if you buy a Clone X now, no, because that Clone X has already been dropped all of the things that it that it um, that it got, so you won't get it. It's not like a claim where you can check whether it's been claimed or not. Um, yeah, so that answers your question. Elwin, open it. Elwin, <laughs> yeah, easy to say when it's not your box. Let's see. Nebula, also open it. Hey. What do you think, guys? Well, I can tell you a few things. First of all, my box is on my ledger and not on my uh, uh, hot wallet. And I do not have my ledger device here. It's downstairs. So that's it's not possible to do it now unless I run downstairs and leave you guys, in which case it will just be the two of you left. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to do it now. It's uh, Yeah, I mean, I could get it in two minutes, but I'm not going to. I'm tempted, not because of your comments. I, I I have been tempted because, you know, I always take the the less risky approach. Um, and because in the beginning, I used to hold until after reveal every project thinking I was going to get a rare and I never got any rares ever. So now I just assume I'm not going to get a rare and I, and I, and I sell pre-reveal. If I like the project, I'll buy back in after reveal at a third of the price, right? So that's how I've been playing it since my early days where I was optimistic. And so I just automatically assume that I've got a general in this box, a, a baseline vial. That's my automatic assumption. Don't know if I'm right. Don't know if I'm wrong. Um, Gaz, I swear to you, it's downstairs. I promise you. I can't get it. I can't get this, but I can't open it. If I go to their website now, it's going to ask me to open it. It's going to, I need to connect to my ledger. So it's not an excuse, but I do want to do it. I just don't know. Not sure. That's why I need a ledger. It will make me think before I sell something. You're right. So I had an NFT. I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to tell you the name. Um, really like the community. They've got a Genesis collection of a couple of hundred, and I've had it on my ledger the whole time. They recently had a drop, but you had to move your Genesis into the same wallet as the sub-collections in order to get the benefit of being a Genesis holder and a sub-collection holder. So I moved it in there for the mint. I minted. Once it was in there, I just sold it, <laughs> right? Whereas I was happy to hold it forever. I love the community, but it's right there. And boom, there was an offer and I sold it. So you're right. It is a good thing. It is a good thing to do. Um, what else I want to show you quickly, uh, talking about clothing brand. So let's just say, you know, three and a half ETH is a lot of money. Oh, sorry. We all know that three and a half ETH is a lot of money. And it's, it's, it's really unreachable for a lot of people, especially because we know it's a bit of a long-term play. We do know that they're going to take months and months before they open it. Yes, in between then, I do see it going up to four, five, then dipping up and down as they hinted news or whatever. You know, they, they typically drop little teasers of it slowly opening. So, so you might be able to get up, but the play here is long-term. You want to play it until the drop comes, in which case you 2x in, let's say, two months. That's pretty much what you're looking at. So you literally make three and a half Ethereum in two months. I mean, not financial advice, but that's a, that's the situation. So so let's just so I wouldn't do that if I only had three and a half ETH, because then you don't have you you don't have the liquidity to you know mint one or two mints that might be good and flip. So and.